I just want to say a few things about the Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fight. Having watched the fight and letting the dust settle, I I definitely am very humble by Tyson Fury's performance. Um, I I was rooting for Wilder, you know. Um, I wanted Wilder to win, but Tyson Fury he won the fight. But Wilder actually knocked Fury down multiple times. He could have got him out of there, but he he was hurt, you know. Um, that's what it was, you know. The better man won the fight, but you know. Um, People are making fun of Wilder, saying he's a can crusher and he's a bum and he's only ever fought bums and he fought Ortiz that was old. Okay, so if Wilder's a bum, if Wilder is a complete trash of a fighter, he's no good, he's the worst fighter that ever lived, that's what everybody says. All the fans, everybody, all the, all the fans, all the people in the comment section all say, oh, Wilder's trash. Okay, if that's the case then that kind of discredits Fury's victory because that means that, okay, so if Wilder ain't shit, then Fury's victory means nothing. It means nothing for Fury. So you guys are discred discrediting Fury's victory by saying that Wilder ain't shit and Wilder's a bum and all this bullshit. Then that means that Fury, then that means Fury's a bum because Fury beat a bum in you guys' eyes. So what? What is it? What is it? Is it? I mean, I mean, you can't have it both ways. It can't be oh, Fury's the best ever, but how is he the best ever if he just fought a bum? That doesn't make any sense. You can't have it both ways. You can't discredit Wilder's achievements and say that he's nothing and he's garbage, and then you can't say on this in the same breath that Fury is the best to ever do it, and Fury is a great fighter. You can't say that because you're because he beat a bum in you guys' eyes. So you see how that works? You see how that works, guys? So maybe think twice before you call someone that has put blood, sweat, and tears into this. Wilder trained his trained his ass off for this fight. He put everything he had into this fight. He lost. You know, that's what happens in life. Sometimes things don't go your way. You know, you, you, you guys know that job interview that you wanted to get. You guys know that job that you wanted to get at that job interview, and then and then and then you got and then you got denied. They told you to fuck off. They didn't want to give you that job. You failed. You failed at something. It's called life. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I'm happy for Wilder. He was happy. He was able to make more money. Um, he put himself out there. He fought his heart out. And he lost the fight. That's what happens. It's life. <laughs> Motherfuckers, people lose. It happens. When your girlfriend broke up with you, did you kill yourself? No, you kept going. That's life, dude. You're going to deal with loss. It happens. It's life. It's part of the game. Losing is part of the sport. Tyson Fury is, one of, is, is definitely one of the best at heavyweight right now. All the props to Tyson Fury. Um, I hope he gets knocked out by Usyk, though. I hope Usyk knocks him out cold, but that's another story. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, I just don't like Fury. Um, respect to Fury, he won the fight, but I just don't like him. You know, that's, that's my, that's me. That's me. I don't like him. I don't like Fury. You guys love him. You guys, you guys ride his nuts. That's cool. Um... Yeah, I'm being, I'm feeling petty today, so if anyone comes in the comment section talking shit about Wilder, um, I'll probably block you, so yeah, I'm feeling kind of petty today, so just know uh, if you write your little comment talking shit, then I'm just gonna block you, because... Um, I don't want to take away anything from Tyson Fury's victory, and I don't want to downplay Wilder's effort in this fight. You know, he put everything he had into this fight. I knew how much this fight meant to him, and he lost the fight. You know, it happens. It's, it's part of life. You motherfuckers have never worked hard for something in your life. That's why you can't understand how this feels. 
You can you can't understand how it feels to lose a boxing match because you guys have never put anything you've never worked hard for anything in your life. You've never you've never put your soul and energy and everything into one into one thing. You've never done that because you have no drive. You have no motivation. You don't have any of those things that it requires to have the mentality of a Deontay Wilder. So next time you guys uh, want to talk shit I mean it happens It's the internet People are going to talk shit Because they don't like him Because he's black But um, Yeah um, That's how it is That's that's just That's just That's just the game I get it But um, But don't you idiots Realize that you're downplaying Tyson Fury's victory You're downplaying his victory Because you're talking shit About his opponent I mean, these people are stupid. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, why don't you give props to Wilder? If you give props to Wilder, then that actually elevates Fury as well. So you elevate both guys. That's the only way this works. If you look at Floyd Mayweather's record, and you look at Canelo, and you look at all these other fighters that he fought, you guys... You, well, yeah, with, with Mayweather, it's kind of the same thing, but at the same... But, 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 but there's a few people... There's a lot of people that think Wild Mayweather's the best, and Joe Rogan thinks he's the best, and a lot of fans think he's the best, but then there's another side to it that think that he's a bum, and he fights like a bitch, and he runs, and he hides. You see, every black fighter that's a good fighter... If, if Wilder knocked out Fury in this fight, people would have made excuses. Nobody would have nobody would have listened. And, and everybody in the comment section saying, Oh, what do the Wilder fans have excuses for? And I mean, that's cool. I mean, you can say that. That's fine. That's shit talking. You guys can talk your little shit. But if you... You guys can say whatever you want about the fans. But if you talk shit about Wilder and you try to take away what he did tonight... I don't know, man. I'm just not gonna not gonna tolerate it. I mean, it's it's just not it's not it's not gonna happen, dude. But this was a great fight. Um, I enjoyed it for as long as it lasted. Uh, Fury showed incredible heart. Both fighters showed incredible heart, grit, determination, everything that you would like to see in a heavyweight boxing match. Can't you guys just appreciate what we saw tonight? Can't you guys just appreciate the greatness that we saw tonight, and then just uh, uh, just enjoy boxing <laughs> for what it is. Instead of trying to make it into some bullshit, I don't know what it is, like some bullshit. Just trying to make it into something that it's not. This is boxing. This is the sweet science, man. Someone has to lose and someone has to win. And that's how life works. Why did your business fail? What? Why did your business fail? Because you don't like hard work. You failed at that business because that's life, <laughs> right? I mean, you didn't want to put that much work in. You don't have the hard work and determination that a Deontay Wilder has. Um, yeah, you know, why don't you guys fight Tyson Fury? Why don't you guys jump in the ring with Tyson Fury and fight him? I bet you guys wouldn't make it out of the first round. Talking shit about Deontay Wilder, but you guys wouldn't make it out of the first round. I guarantee you. Guarantee. Guarantee you. You guys would not make it out of the first round with Tyson Fury. <laughs> so, all you motherfuckers talking shit. I just... I'm kind of triggered. Yes, I am a little bit triggered. Because I feel like... What the fuck? <laughs> you know? Um, he came up short. But that's what happens. It's part of life, dude. Even Canelo lost a fight. Canelo lost to Mayweather. Is he a bum? Is he, is he, is he, is he done? No, you guys praise Canelo. Everybody praises Canelo. We know we all know why he gets praised. And why Wilder doesn't get praised. <sighs> well, yeah. Uh, what do I think now? What should happen? Um, I think Tyson Fury should fight Usyk. Or Wilder should fight... Um, Wilder should fight Anthony Joshua. I would love to see that fight. I would love to see Wilder versus Anthony Joshua... And then the winner can come back and fight Fury again. Or I would like to see... And then I would like to see... While they're fighting... I would like to see... Wilder versus Dillian White. That would be a good fight. I'd like to see that. I want to see some fresh new contenders for the heavyweight belt. Tyson Fury should fight Dillian White. 
And then, um, why they should fight Anthony Joshua? That's the fight to make, man. I feel like that's the fight to make. That is the fight to make. Make that fight. And then Usyk can fight, uh, I don't know, fight a contender and then build up the fight and then fight Tyson Fury. And then he can fight Tyson Fury. After Fury fights Dillian White, if he gets through Dillian White, that's, that's, that's his mandatory. He has to fight Dillian White. That's his mandatory challenger. So, um, okay, so he needs to fight Dillian White. If he gets through Dillian White, he fights Usyk. And then Usyk, if he gets through his mandatory challenger, then he fights Tyson Fury, which is probably going to be late 2022 or 2023. They're not going to be fighting soon. Uh, Wild Joshua, that needs to happen now. That is the fight to make. That is the only fight to make. I don't care if they're both losers. I don't care if the fight has lost its luxury. I still want to see it. And I think the fans want to see it. What do you guys think? You guys want to see Wilder and Joshua?